Welcome everybody and happy Friday. This is the first video of our question of the week series. In this series, we have our educational users send in new questions each week and we pick one to answer every Friday. Be sure to check the link below where you can send in all your questions. The question this week is, what is the difference between offset body and thickened body? This is quite a common question and one I've even asked myself because sometimes it is tough to see the difference between them. The thickened body block has simple inputs of body and thickness. To break this down, the thickened body block will thicken the part in both directions using the boundary of the body as the centerline of the thickness. The thickness will be split evenly between the two sides. When would you want this behavior? It is best to use for one-dimensional or two-dimensional parts, such as CAD surfaces or graph lattices. Offset body has the inputs of body and distance. Offset body works best for objects that already have a volume. It will adjust the surface boundary of the part. A positive value will increase the surface boundary while a negative value will decrease it. Here we have a lattice with an offset body. You can see the offset occurs in all the positive directions, which doubles the distance value. For the thickened body, you can see each lattice beam acts as the midpoint for the thickness. As you can see when we compare the two, the offset body has double the thickness. Negative values will result in no volume since the surface or graph lattice cannot decrease in volume. Since the thickened body uses the boundary as a midpoint, it is recommended to use offset body when you are starting with a part that already has volume. In this example, the thickened body block creates a hollow cube, adding half the thickness to the outside and half to the inside. The offset block keeps the block solid and moves the boundary of the body out by the full one millimeter. That is the difference between our offset and thickened body blocks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for next Friday and be sure to send in your questions using the link below.